Thank you, Madam President, uh, dear family and loved ones of David, dear colleagues, let me start on a more personal note. The ceremony today is very moving because we are not only commemorating our President of the European Parliament, David Maria Sassoli, we are also commemorating a colleague and a friend whose optimism, openness and will for cooperation will be deeply missed. David's entire work has been based on a deep-rooted, humane perspective on politics and society. As president of this parliament, that many consider the beating heart of European democracy, David set out to strengthen democratic procedures and the rights of the European parliament, and his political ambitions were always driven by the deepest respect for democracy. But he did not do that for the sake of his role or for the sake of this institution alone. He did it first and foremost for European citizens whose voice he wanted to be heard, whose aspirations and demands he wanted to see realized by and through this very parliament. And from the very start of his presidency, he reminded us relentlessly that democracy cannot be taken for granted and that democracy is under attack every day and that it has to be defended every day. Already in his first speech as president, and we saw that earlier today, he expressed his conviction that European integration and European democracy have their roots also in the destruction and devastation of Europe caused by nationalism and fascism. European democracy and anti-fascism are two sides and were two sides for David of the same coin. This week, the European Parliament is about to elect its new leadership. Dear colleagues, the best way to commemorate David Sassoli is to follow his legacy and to ensure that all democratic voices are heard with the same respect in this institution now and in the future. Thank you and farewell, David.